I may or may not be thinking about postmating an egg McMuffin right now. <laughs> Alright, so today we have a shadow and schmooze on the look I'm wearing right now. Did a emerald green kind of goldy smoky eye. I used some new stuff in this video, trying out the L'Oreal brand new eyeshadows. Also trying out the Julep Beauty Box. This is freaking awesome. Most people know Julep for their nail polishes, which I love. I post on Instagram about. But they also have some really good makeup, which I feel like is totally underrated. Basically, the Julep Beauty Box is a good way to try out their makeup. You get three products every month. You can customize it. You can choose which products you want, and you basically save a shit ton of money. You're getting three products for $24.99. I do have a 50% off your first box code, which means you'll get three products for $12, which is insane. For $12, I think it's totally worth giving it a shot. The three products that were in my box I used today, the Lip Mousse, which I'm wearing right now, their Gel Eyeliner, and then the Eyeshadow 101 Stick. So I'm wearing all those on my face right now. You'll see how they go on and apply. I've mentioned some Jewel products in Favorites before. I really like their Glycolic Hand Scrub. It is amazing. If you can throw that in there, do it. Obsessed with these lip mousses. Definitely worth throwing these in. So again, if you want to check it out, I'll leave it in the description box along with a 50% off code. So if you want to see how I got this look, you're in the right place. Just keep watching. All right. It is Saturday. Feeling good. Got the coffee. Probably need a shit ton more coffee right now. So I've already moisturized my face. I'm going to go in with the Nivea Post Shave Balm. And this is a men's aftershave balm that is like blown up on YouTube right now from Nikki Tutorials. And I've been using this every day for about almost two weeks now, and it's legit, you guys. It has glycerin in it, so it basically acts as an adhesive for your makeup. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like a dude. Under $10 from the drugstore from Target. I actually feel like this helps keep my makeup on longer. You wanna wait until it gets really sticky like this, and then you can go in with your foundation. So I think today I'm gonna mix these two foundations. This is the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra with Too Faced Born This Way. I'll have the shades and everything listed down below. I haven't done a full review on this, but I've used it in multiple videos and I have a full review on this foundation. I haven't actually mixed these two together before, so hopefully it's a good combo. This one is a little bit too yellow for me, and then this one is super light and pink, so let's see if we can get a nice neutral shade going. And I'm trying out the Morphe G6 brush. I got these from Hot Look and they were like $8 or something. I got a couple of them, so hopefully I like it. They look really small, but who knows, we'll see. I think we're gonna do like an emerald kind of smoky eye today. L'Oreal, if you watched my strobe, which is the live streaming thing, yeah, this brush feels very small. Got some major acne going on. It is such a struggle, you guys. It's like one week it'll start clearing up and then the next week it's horrible again. Okay, I kind of feel like that's just like a lot of work. Like this is a really small brush. Yeah, I'm gonna switch brushes. I'm gonna switch to my e.l.f. selfie brush. This is actually a powder brush, but it's amazing for liquid foundation. And it's like $3, so you can't go wrong. What were we just talking about? I feel like we were talking about something good. Oh yeah, strobe. So I did, I've been doing a couple live streams on strobe, which is a new um, platform. If you guys didn't tune in, you can still watch the like rerun of it, I guess, on strobe. So I'll link it in the description box. I've just been really enjoying it. Like it's so cool getting to know you guys. People like in the chat were becoming friends with each other, which I thought was really cool. So I feel like I've been talking to you guys, even though a lot of you guys didn't watch the stream. So if you want to know what's going on in life and just, I answered a ton of questions and everything. So you can go watch that if you missed it. I feel like this color is actually perfect. Like it matches my neck exactly. I feel like a lot of this stuff I already talked about because I talked about it on Strobe, but this is my favorite concealer lately. Uh, one of them. This is the Rimmel Lasting Perfection 16 hour concealer in the lightest shade. And Shan XO mentioned this in her drugstore favorites. You can't get it in the US or I haven't been able to find it in the US. So I had to order it off of eBay, like Australia or something. It, it is so bomb. I love the color of it. Perfect for my skin tone because it has like definitely more of a pinky tone to it, which I just feel like is super flattering for underneath my eyes for some reason. It's really nicely, good coverage. Uh, side note, don't know why this just popped in my head, but I waxed my arms last night <laughs> because ever since I was living in Jordan, my host mom waxed my arms like the first day I got there. I don't think I've ever told you guys this. Uh, it was a good time. She told me my arm hair looked like a garden. Love her. And ever since then, I've been like waxing or shaving my arms, but I haven't waxed them in a really long time. 
and I just really like it. Like I like having no hair on my body. Waxing your arms is like super normal in other countries, so I don't know why it's so weird here. But anyways, I'm thinking about doing a more in-depth like hair removal video because I do remove hair everywhere on my body. Would you guys be interested in seeing that? Let me know. I am setting the under eye with this stargazer powder. Super randomly found this online. It's basically a white powder, but I like it because it's not super chalky like every other white powder I found. And it has just enough color where, as you can see, it like brightens the under eye and sets everything, but it doesn't look stark white. So I'm actually really liking this. If I can find the website, I'll link it below. Not sure if I want to set the rest of my face. Kind of feeling like the glowy look. Whoa, there's like an eyelash vertical. Brows are on. I've been using a combo of the E2 Touch Drawing Eye Pencil I've mentioned before. This is super affordable and it's amazing. With the Ardell Dark Brown Brow Pomade. And then I top it off with Ulta Brow Gel. I plucked my brows before this video because last video, the freaking brow police were out to party. You don't always have time to pluck your brows, people. I think my foundation is starting to set. Let's prime the eyes first, and then I'll go on to face. Or maybe we'll do eyes and then, yeah. Let's do eyes first, and then we'll do the rest of the face today. So I'm trying out this Ofra eye primer for the first time ever. I'm usually not a fan of these, like liquidy kind of primers like the Urban Decay. I feel like it just takes away from coverage on my eyes sometimes. So I think I'm gonna try out a bunch of Morphe brushes that I have right now. Should we zoom in? What is this? This is an M511 brush and it's basically just a huge blending brush. So I'm gonna go in with a mix of coconut cream, which is this white shade, and peanut butter from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. And let's just plop this in the crease. This brush is a little bit scratchy, not gonna lie. I think like Five minutes ago, I started telling you that we're going to be doing an emerald smoky eye today. Mostly because if you guys saw the strobe, L'Oreal actually did like a secret strobe giveaway too with L'Oreal stuff. But they basically sent a huge ass package of a bunch of their new products. And in it, they had these eyeshadows that look beautiful. And I feel like I've never done an emerald green eye look. So today is the day. I'm going to be taking the M502 brush and this Sigma palette. This is... Brilliant and Spellbinding, and the shade Sensational in here, which is not what I would title this shade. This is like literally a shit brown color, but it is amazing. Look at that brown. It is like the ugliest but most appealing brown shade ever. So I'm just taking that blending brush and putting a little bit on here. It is super powdery, so it has a little bit of fallout. So you want to tap off your brush first. But we're just going to blend this on the outer, like, oh man, look at that brown. Perfect crap brown. Doing this on the outer third and then probably, yeah, taking whatever is left over and just blending it in the crease a little bit. This brush feels a lot softer. The shade blends out really easily too, which I really like. Next I'm going to take this super tiny blending brush, M506. We're going to go back in with the chocolate bar palette and I'm going to take, do I want a brown or a licorice? What is that? So let's take licorice. And I'm just going to start blending this in the outer corner of my eye. So life, what is going on? I think this video will be up actually like a few days after it's filmed for once. Usually I pre-record a couple weeks in advance. But I'm going to be going to San Diego March 4th or 3rd that weekend. Let me know if you guys would want to do some kind of meetup. Um, I'm going there to visit family. But I think I'm also going to be getting my eyebrows tattooed, which I'm super excited about. I found this lady on Yelp who I'm going to. Her photos look amazing. The brush hairs look like super natural. I'll probably be documenting that whole process and making a video on it if you guys want to see that. Why did I not eat breakfast? I'm like dying right now. So I think I'm actually gonna put down a base underneath. I think I'm gonna use gold because I have this thing and it looks freaking beautiful. And I feel like green on top of gold might look really cool. So this is the Julep Eyeshadow 101 eyeshadow stick. I've heard really good things about these. I've heard they're super long lasting. I have this gold shade right here, which is warm gold shimmer. So I'm just gonna put this all over the lid. Oh man, you could just use this. Okay, well there's a gold smoky eye if you wanna stop there. And you don't even need to blend that out. Like, I could just literally stop there. I'm going to take the L'Oreal Shadow in 213 Teal Couture. I've been really liking the Coastal Sense brush S20. And it's just a super flat, really good brush for packing shadow on top of your lid. This is, like, a really interesting formula. It's kind of gel to powder. We're just going to plop this on top. So I'm bringing this right up to that tan color. I feel like you can definitely see some of the gold underneath and it looks really cool. Because of this formula, I'm not getting any fallout at all, which is really nice because it's kind of like a cream. That color is super pretty. I think we need a brown shade to blend into the crease. So I'm gonna go back in with the chocolate bar palette. Let's take hot fudge. So I'm gonna take my Coastal Scents BR250 brush, which has been one of my favorites lately. And we're gonna go in with hot fudge. 
and basically blend this straight into the crease, mostly focusing it on the outer third. Okay, so now that we've spent an hour blending, I'm gonna go back in with a fluffy brush and take that poop brown shade again by Sigma and just warm up the crease a little bit more. Put a little bit more of this on the lid because we blended so much. Next, I'm gonna take an eyeliner for my waterline. This is the Julep Gel Eye Glider. This is in Blackest Black. I've never used this before, but apparently this is like one of their best sellers. Did you guys see that? That just went on so easily. So I'm going to take this super tiny brush by Morphe. This is the M508 brush. And I'm going to take Licorice again, which is that black shadow from Too Faced, and just blend this on the outer third. I'm going to take Too Faced peanut butter on here and blend underneath that black. I've been on a Mad Men marathon lately. Have you guys seen that show? If not, you need to. It kind of makes me question my grandparents a lot, but uh, it's really interesting. I'm on season three and I started it last week. No shame. I'm gonna take our favorite again. And I'm gonna go back in with that gold. Oh yeah, this is super pretty. I feel like the inner corner never quite picks up on camera. I'm going to use my Physician's Formula Eye Booster, like always. Not sure if we're going to do a wing or just line. Okay, I think we're going to skip the wing today. I think once we have falsies on, we won't even need it. So I'm going to put on some mascara. I'm going to put on a super thin coat of mascara before falsies. Anyways, life. Super excited to go home for a little bit. Uh, I think it'll be really nice. I've had an interesting last couple months. Okay, I would never use this mascara by itself. This is pretty awful. While that is drying, let's do contour. My lips are hella dry right now. So I'm gonna go in with my favorite It Cosmetics My Sculpted Face Palette. I actually returned the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. It was just too dark for my skin tone. I don't know, I didn't. I don't quite get the height. It was almost too powdery for me. This one is just perfect to me. I love this contour palette. And this highlight, which I mentioned 5,000 times, is beautiful. So I'm taking the M501 brush for a highlight, which I do really like. I've used this a couple times now. And this, you guys will see in my... I'm probably just going to do a January and February Raves and Rejects now, because January Raves and Rejects just didn't happen. But I've been using this every day for over a month now. But this white, light, goldy shade right here is perfect if you have pale skin. You can make it look like a really intense highlight or you can just make it look like kind of a highlighting powder if that makes sense, like just bringing brightness to your cheekbones. I'm just gonna apply this right here. It just gives a really nice glow and I just love the shade of it on my skin tone. I've also used this, these two shades as like a contour and it totally works. I'm actually gonna, let's try wetting the brush this time. So I'm gonna spray this with some Fix Plus. I kind of want like a really intense highlight today. Look at that glow, people. With the emerald shade, I feel like we need a little bit more of a like berry tone blush. So I'm going in with this Too Faced Heart Blush in Your Love is King. Sometimes this ring light like actually blinds me. I think it is falsy time. So I'm gonna take these Violet Voss lashes. I got these at iMats and I wore these in the strobe makeup tutorial that I did. These are just slaying and they are so freaking pretty. So while the top lashes are drying, I'm gonna be putting on bottom mascara. This is Wet n Wild Megalink, my favorite. And I'm just gonna blend those falsies into my natural lashes with this. I'm gonna blend in that lash band by putting some eyeliner over top. Okay, lips. So I'm gonna be using the Julep Lip Mousse and these are totally freaking underrated. These are the matte lip mousse. They're pretty new. They came out in December, I think. I think I have like six or seven shades. Maybe they're gonna take Ooh La La, which is kind of like ColourPop Trap or Bisu. I think we're gonna do Ooh La La. The formula of these is beautiful. They're long lasting. The brush is interesting. I've never seen a liquid lipstick brush like this, but it kind of curves the shape of your lips, if that makes sense. I do like to use just kind of like the ball end to get in the lines on my lips first. Look at that shade. They feel moisturizing. They don't feel, whoa, 
They feel moisturizing, but they do dry down. If you're getting the box, make sure you put one of these in it because I don't think you'll be disappointed. All right, so this is the final look. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up so I know. Make sure you're following me on social because whenever I do Shadow and Schmooze videos, I usually ask you guys what you want to see. If you want to check out the Jewel Up box, I'll leave a 50% off code in the description box down below. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.